Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Vladimir Putin is blaming Hillary Clinton uh, for the uprisings in Russia. Now, this is classic Stalinism. We've got to look at this. This is classic communist dictator behavior. There is a problem. The problem is caused by foreign influence. Foreign influence must be expunged. That means that uh, even more uh, aggressive repression uh, will soon be upon the Russian people. Now, we, the reason this is important is that political instability in Russia is great for the United States and difficult for most of the rest of the world. It will have the effect of people thinking through more carefully their linkages to China. And so that's terrific for us. Uh, sad, if you're a if you're living in Russia today, bad situation, strategically great for the United States. Um, secondly, we wish to, as you know, gold holds in around 1740 or so, waiting the alleged, um, uh, uh, the alleged uh, uh, Russian, excuse me, <laughs> alleged European deal. I wasn't trying to be a Weisenheimer, okay? Um, we're expecting uh, gold to stay in this range, and we want to be flat out about this. There is no way that whatever agreement they cook up is going to hold together over long. Look at Moody's and S&P downgrading uh, European debt. What that means is the price of gold will go up. Regrettably, it also means as the European zone fails again to solve its own collective problems, that we, this will lead directly even though it has nothing to do with the United States. It will be uh, the, the, uh, the match in the tinderbox uh, that leads to a 15 to 20 percent decline in the S&P and corresponding declines in the Dow. So we're letting everybody know that we expect there to be, over the next six to eight weeks, a 15 to 20 percent decline in the S&P and the Dow. Now, <clears throat> we also want to discuss today Pearl Harbor. Of course, the anniversary of Pearl Harbor was yesterday, and we're indebted to Mr. Kozak of the Wall Street Journal for uh, talking about Pearl Harbor in a little more detail than sometimes we Americans are comfortable with. Uh, we had uh, intercepted the Japanese codes. We knew about the threat. We didn't believe it. We absolutely did not believe that the Japanese, who we had their penetrated their codes, and we did not believe that they were willing, they were going to attack us. Um, and there was some discussion about people not being aware of the time difference between Hawaii and Washington. But my general point here is that we have enemies in the world, like Iran and North Korea. I'm not even going to, you know, renegade Pakistani military groups or uh, any of that stuff. I'm sticking with fundamental strategic enemies like Iran and North Korea. Uh, I wonder if we're setting ourselves up for another Pearl Harbor because we simply refuse to believe how crazy these people are. And uh, we believe that, you know, in the rule of law, we believe in this and that, we believe in the United Nations, you know, we can't understand how anybody, what would be the value, et cetera, et cetera. Why would anybody attack Israel? That makes no sense. We have to remember that, in fact, people are quite capable of behaving in ways that make absolutely no sense to us. And as Mr. Kozak pointed out yesterday on the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, it's not a bad time to reflect uh, on how our arrogance and thinking people won't do things doesn't control the future. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. If you're not accumulating gold in through here, you're really going to hurt yourself. There are some other things that we're doing on the fixed income side that we think are pretty interesting. Uh, and watch early next week for our new commentary on our rare earths forecast going into 2012. Aim for the ice flows, understand what's going on, and you can make a lot of money in through here. This is Arnie Waters. Thanks for watching.